Hey everyone, it's Tracy coming at you with my four week post op VSG vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. This is going to be a short video for me because this is my four week, but my surge anniversary is in a few days. So I'm going to do a skin flick and everything on that day. Sorry about the camera angle. I don't know what I got going on here tonight. I was just getting ready to go to bed and realized it was time for me to do the video. So I did weigh in this morning and I'll give you guys my stats. I am, I need to give you guys some details that I've been forgetting in my videos. I'm 39 years old. I am five foot four inches tall. I have shrunk a lot in high school. I was five seven, but I've been diagnosed with osteoporosis and some um, disc and arthritis issues, degenerative joints. So maybe that's the issue or maybe it's just the weight pushing me down. We'll see. Um, this week was a better week for my emotions. I'm a bit confused about some things, but the depression hasn't been as heavy. Um, there was a lot of stress going on last week with situations I really don't want to get into, but it was basically family issues. So anyways, and just so you know, as Nirvana would say, not naked. <laughs> I'm getting ready for bed. But this used to fit me very snugly. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Things are already getting big and I just don't see it. I cannot see it. In my face, in my side-by-side -side shots, yes, but looking at the camera right now, I just don't see the difference yet. So anyways... My surgery date was May 22nd, 2017, and I had my surgery at Trinity Bariatrics by Dr. Joseph Galella. Um, this was in Steubenville, Ohio. Today's date is June 19th, 2017. Like I said, I will do my surgery anniversary video in a couple days. I My starting weight in May of 2016 was 330 pounds. My day of surgery weight was 304 pounds. Last week I weighed in at 284 pounds. And this morning, week four, I weighed in at 281 pounds. For a week, that is a three pound loss. And 23 pound loss since the surgery date. I'm down 49, one pound, 49 pounds since my high weight last May. I am dealing with the hiccups and the burps still, as I was in the last video. I am drinking two to three of these a day. This is water. It's root beer water. Some of you have seen the A&W root beer flavoring. I use it in shakes. I use it in my water. I only use one pouch for this whole 34 ounce bottle. So everything else is too sweet. If I add two packets to that, it's really too sweet. So... You'll excuse me, I just got out of the shower too, and I am letting my hair dry naturally, and I'm not brushing it until it's dry, because two days in a row now, I have pulled handfuls of hair out of my head in the shower. I'm taking my vitamins. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I know it's going to happen. I didn't expect it. I mean, I knew the thinning had started here, and I think that was because I was pretty much malnourished. Pre-op, I was trying to cut weight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to cut weight real quick, and I think that, you know, that's what triggered all of that. My cow licks are really huge now. Um, but I didn't do this for vanity, so I don't even care. If I go bald, I'll wear it with pride. I'll shave the rest off, and I'll decorate my head. It's okay. <laughs> I'm all right with it. I did this for my health and so I'd be in less pain and so I'd have a longer, healthier, happier life. And if that means some vanity issues come in later, okay, but right now I'm not a vain person. It's okay. So I do have some concerns and if any of you veterans watching could give me some advice, maybe just words of encouragement because I'm freaking out a little bit and when I call and discuss it with my nutritionist and everything. And I talked to other folks who have had the surgery at the support groups and such that I've met before. And 
Anyways, when I talk to people about it, they seem to think that I'm being overreacting. But a lot of you talk about you're only able to consume two to four ounces at this stage. And on some days, that's all I can consume food-wise. And it also depends on the food. But other days, I can eat a whole cup of food at a sitting. And that terrifies me. I'm afraid that, that this is way too soon. I'm really worried about it. Um, there have been days that I have been up to a thousand calories. I know for some of you, your doctors don't really worry about your calories, your fat intake, your carbs even, at this stage of the game. But my doctor does. He's well-rounded nutritionist. He's all about healthy foods in every way, shape, and form. And I'm concerned that I'm getting too much. I know my fat has been 40% of my diet on most days. Sometimes 50% of my diet is fat. And protein that's which is great I know for some of you especially those of you on keto that's probably pretty much optimal 50% fat but I don't think that's what my surgeon would be okay with and like I said I go to see him on the 29th hiccups sorry and I will discuss all of my concerns with him personally on that date but Maybe I'm just being paranoid. I'm still losing weight, which I thought I wouldn't. Excuse me, I need a drink. <laughs> That's another thing. I can take a normal drink. It does give me hiccups sometimes, causes me to burp, but there's no pain, no pressure, no anything. I don't feel... There's only certain times and certain foods that cause me to feel any kind of real restriction. I mean, granted, I can only eat a half a pouch to a pouch of tuna at a sitting. I can eat one to two eggs depending on how they are made. If I poach them, I can eat two, but it takes me a long time to eat two. I don't push it if I don't have to, but if I eat breakfast late and then into lunch, I tend to do eggs for breakfast and lunch on the weekends. I'm noticing a bit of a struggle eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I do my shakes in between when I'm during during the week at work. Um, I just, I'm so busy. And I get up late because, I mean, not late, but not early enough that I can prepare a meal. And I know I can do meal preps beforehand. But to be honest, hard-boiled egg is not what I want in the morning. Um, 90% of the time I want coffee and my surgeon allows me to have that one cup of coffee, which I haven't been doing really. Um, I've been doing protein shakes as much as possible in the morning because even with me not having restriction, I'm not able to take in the amount of protein I need from 60 to 80 grams. I am getting between 64 and a hundred ounces of water every day. 60 to 80 grams, sometimes up to 100 grams of protein in a day. Like I said, my fat ranges about 40 to 50 percent of my diet. And I think that's because I'm doing a lot of cheeses. Um, I do do... <laughs> do do. <laughs> Sorry. Childish. <laughs> it's late. I do actually have a lot of chicken meatballs. has been my go-to lately. Tuna fish, you know. There's really not a lot of fat in tuna fish, but the chicken meatballs, chicken sausages, refried beans, which I'd been eating the full fat ones. I hadn't cut the fat. Um, really, in eggs, that's been the staples of my diet. Chicken salad, sometimes ham salad, but it doesn't sit well in my stomach. I've noticed any pre-made sandwich spread, such as chicken salad, tuna salad, or ham salad, I mean, any of that, um, it just doesn't sit well. I don't know why, but if I make it myself, it's great. Tuna salad at lunchtime is amazing. I add just a little mayo or a miracle whip, not a lot, just enough to, you know, moisten it up in one of the pouches, and then a couple drops of um, lemon juice because I don't want to do a lot of spice when I'm at work. When I'm home, I can eat anything. I can eat Cajun seasoning. I can eat spicy stuff. I haven't tried buffalo sauce yet, but... I have ate a lot of spicy things and I've been okay. So, I just, I'm concerned that maybe I'm eating too much. 
I don't do this all the time. Like literally this afternoon for my lunch, I had, I don't know if anyone buys the chicken meatballs at Kroger's. The packets have like eight or 10 in them. And they're a very small packet. And the serving size is three meatballs. At most, I can eat three and a half and that's on a bad day when I can really eat. But um, like today I ate three and a half. And I ate seven. The Brussels sprouts were probably literally that size. They were very small. Um, most of them tiny. I think the biggest one might have been a little bigger than my thumb. Um, seven Brussels sprouts. And that was at lunch. That's all I consumed at lunch was the three and a half meatballs and the Brussels sprouts. And of course the half hour before and the half hour afterwards with no fluids. For breakfast, I had had a muscle milk. Um, I Like I said, I try at work days. I'm just so busy. I do try work days to make my breakfast a protein shake. It's just easier for me to go and grab one on the run. I pack my lunch the night before. Like I have three options for my lunch tomorrow I'm going to take into work and put it in the work fridge. What I don't eat tomorrow will be in the fridge for the next day and the day after. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. I just... I want to have a variety and at this stage I'm in soft foods and you just pretty much get tired of everything. For those of you who have followed me on Instagram, you've seen the little pizza I make. It's just melted cheese and pepperoni. I'm going to start adding some veg to that. My dad, I showed it to him on Father's Day and he said, why didn't you have mushrooms and onions on that? That would have been really good. So it's making me think that that's what I'm going to do next. I just... I was scared in the beginning to eat anything more than the cheese. You know, the pepperoni I was leery of. Um, I just knew I could handle cheese sticks and I could handle melted cheese, so why not try it? And I did actually make that again tonight. Um, I It took me a long time. It took me two meals to eat it before. It did take me two meals tonight. I ate right after I got home at 5 o'clock. I made that, and by 5.30, I ate half of it. It took me about a half hour to get half of it in. And then I was, what, I guess, head hunger. By 7.30, I was craving something again, so I just went to the fridge and finished that. I had already put it into my food trackers and everything else. I do have that tendency. I chart things and I don't take it back off if I don't eat it. I know, bad habit. <laughs> so some days I may not even be consuming the 1,000 calories, but honestly on most days it's 800 to 1,000. And the 800 days it's because I'm so focused on water. It's been pretty hot here. Now I will say I'm not walking enough. I've been getting 5,000 to 8,000 steps a day, and I'm used to getting 10,000 steps. But on the days that I get 8,000 steps, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm exhausted. And all of this is in the meantime of trying to get two work, two classfuls of work done on homework. So I work 40 hours a week, plus I'm doing homework right now about 30 to 60 hours a week in homework depending on the assignments, the research, and the reading. Um, I really do focus a lot on that. Plus, I mean, I do have kids and a house to take care of. And I'm just exhausted. I know those are probably all excuses. Anybody can walk. And I can walk on my lunch breaks, but like I've told you before, I do schedule clients on my lunch breaks because I try to fit as many of my clients in as I can. It's just been overwhelming. My boss has put a Fitbit challenge out for um, me and some friends and our co-workers to see who can compete about steps. And I know I couldn't compete with them. My boss can get fifteen to 20,000 steps in a day. And that's just on an easy day for her. There's no way I could compete with her. And right now I just don't have the energy. So I didn't accept it. But I feel bad because in time I know I want to do those things. I'm just, I'm going from being almost completely sedentary to now just starting to exercise again. And I'm still not there yet. My daughter has a bicycle. It's kind of the old-fashioned kind of Wicked Witch of the West kind of style bike, which I I love it. And I've always wanted one of my own. And I've been afraid to ride it because I'm afraid I'm going to break it because still, you know, 281 pounds is a bit big. I'm afraid I'm going to flatten her tires. 
And my goal was at 250 pounds, I would reward myself with a bicycle. And after I lose 100 pounds, I'm going to reward myself because something I used to love as a kid was horseback riding. And it's still summertime. I'm hoping to hit at least close to that before the end of summer and maybe early fall. Still get to take the chance and go horseback riding. We have... Um, a place where you can go. It's called Faith Ranch. It's um, a really nice place. And you can rent horses. And they'll take you out on the trails. It's a really nice place to go. So. And. I don't know. There's. I have days where. I have total restriction. I can barely get down. Probably three tablespoons of cottage cheese. And it's backing up into my throat. And then I have days. Where, like I said, I could chug almost half that bottle. Do I? No. But I have made the mistake of taking a full mouthful. I have ate a, a whole cup of food. Like the beef tips I put on Instagram. With gravy. And mashed potatoes or mashed cauliflower. I did a half a cup of the mashed potatoes or a half a cup of the mashed cauliflower. And a half a cup of the beef tips. That's what the serving size is. It took me a long time. And I had to stop, and like I said, I had to eat it in two phases. So I eat maybe half of it, and then I come back to it later. Because like I said, I feel like I'm not getting enough food. And I know it's in my head. I know it is. I'd probably be losing a lot more weight if I would restrict myself once I'm full, put the rest of it away, throw it away, one of you have mentioned, or several of you have mentioned, becoming food hoarders. That's me. I'm the only one in the house, and I hate throwing anything away. I don't have anyone to help me with it. It's just me. I literally had to clean my refrigerator out today because I had stuff in there since the day I got home from surgery. I couldn't eat it. I wouldn't have eaten it. But it was in my head that I can't waste this. We have a dog. Some things I would have fed to the dog had he been here. I mean, it wasn't moldy or anything. It was just, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm losing my mind a little bit about with, with the food stuff. And I'm sure it will continue. It's not something I expect to go away anytime soon. Um, like I said, I had major issue with throwing away a can of refried beans. And by the time of what I had eaten and what was left, it was probably a half can, maybe a quarter can if I push. And I still felt bad about throwing away. It's the fat girl in me. I will always be that fat girl. I can't help it. I've been a skinny girl stuck in this shell, but my eating habits and my mentality is the fat girl. I didn't get here without the fat girl part of me. So... I don't know if any of you guys have had these problems. I know a few of you have mentioned the food hoarding thing. I mean, I'm not ho hoarding food. I'm not going buying stuff and stocking up or anything like that. I have bought a lot of things that I didn't like. Like, nothing personal. At this point, I bought barbecue tuna fish pouches. The barbecue doesn't sit well with me. I think it's the sweetness of it. It's nothing to do with it. I mean, it tastes like barbecued pulled pork to me and I love that but at this point it's too much I have pulled pork that I made myself in my deep freezer I know the barbecue sauce is going to be too much for me right now so I'm just I just need to get over the it's okay to throw things away um and like I said I do notice the lack of restriction is based on you know what I'm eating um, dinner, like I said, it was basically melted cheese. So, I ate four ounces of cheese, eight slices of pepperoni melted together. And I ate that in two, it, I had to cut it in half and I ate it in two sections. So, like two meals, dinner and snack. So, I don't think that's all that bad. It's just a matter of, I have to find a way to pace my meals more. Maybe do something such as poach some eggs the night before. I don't like my eggs completely runny. I like them soft to semi-firm. 
and depending on the situation, you know, I'm going to start, I'm going to try to make cloud bread. A lot of you have recommended it and I think that, you know, I do have some odds and ends, sandwich spreads and maybe even a sausage. I could put a sausage patty or something on it, chicken sausage patty, which by the way, I'm loving chicken sausage. Wasn't super big on it before surgery, except for the apple maple one. And that's by Alfresco, and you can get it at Kroger's. And, oh my god, I recommend it. Highly recommend it. But I recommend you brown the outer edges in the skillet because it is amazing. It's phenomenal. It smells like an apple pie when it's cooking. It's lovely. <laughs> I'm still terrified of carbs. Mashed potatoes is about the best I'm getting. I'm afraid of anything else high in carbs. Um... I want corn so bad, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I know carbs aren't going to hurt me, and some carbs are okay. I get that, but right now, uh, at this stage in my diet, next week, I'm allowed to start into, like, breads and things. And I know I'm supposed to have healthy amounts of grains. Um, rice and pasta, I worry about it. And I love rice. So... It's something that I'm afraid that those kind of foods are going to mess me up. And like I've said to my friends, I'd be completely content to stay in the soft foods diet for the rest of my life. I'm okay with the foods that I'm eating right now. wouldn't bother me at all if I didn't move on from this phase. I know like week six is when I start back into, I think, regular foods. And I have to add more of a variety. I know I need to start adding some more fruits and vegetables. So I think all my snacks... That's what I'm going to start doing instead of like, I do like string cheese or laughing cow cheese right now. And someone told me the laughing cow cheese with apples is really good. I don't know. Peanut butter. I don't know. I'm not real okay with sugar-free peanut butter or reduced sugar peanut butter. But I also know I can't handle a lot of sweet stuff. So, And here I was supposed to make a short video and 22 minutes in. I'm rambling. I'm tired. I do this when I'm tired. I ramble a lot. But I just want you guys to know that I am going to post you guys some pictures. I have a lot of still shots that I've been taking since before surgery. Every week I take pictures. I've taken measurements and I can maybe do my measurements that day and let you know at least how much I've lost overall. Uh, let me know if that's what you guys want me to do. I can tell you that I've lost inches. My clothing is fitting different. Collarbones. I haven't seen those in a long time. And it's weird when I'm sitting at work and I'll be leaning and I just start messing with it. It's weird. It's an obsession. I guess it's a fat girl thing. I can feel my collarbones, so I'm obsessed. And I know that it's only going to get stronger. Oh, and if anyone can tell me about the nose itches, <laughs> why? I've seen so many of you doing it on your videos about the same stage. And I've noticed my nose is always itching. Always. Does anybody have any idea why? So I also want to thank all my new new subscribers, everybody out there and all your support on Instagram and Facebook. And for those of you who are watching my videos but don't know of those sites, I can be found under the same name on Instagram and Facebook. You're welcome to add me, comment my posts. It's cool. Um... I will eventually add that information in my comments. I think I'm going to start uploading my videos instead of from my phone. I'm going to upload from my laptop. And I think that I'll be able to start editing on my own. I'm a little worried about doing it without my daughter. But she told me some tips. <laughs> she comes back from Florida um, the 9th of July. So I can't wait. I miss my youngin. And she's not so young. She's 15. But... I miss my mini-me, and I miss her dog, Decker, and I got her a little fire ring, so when she gets home, we're going to have hot dogs and marshmallows, and I'm going to have to find me some healthier alternatives to that, but hey, that's what she wants, and she wants to have an evening together, and I, I just can't wait. I can't. I miss her. Um, I'm going to have my son home from college, and maybe he can join us on our little cookout. It will be really nice. And I just want to say thanks, guys. You guys don't even realize how much your support means to me, especially on the Facebook and Instagram. 
And those of you who are new, welcome to the Losers Bench. I'm so happy for so many of you on Instagram I've been talking to. You're doing so well. Um, good job for those of you about to go through with this. Uh, best of luck. Be strong. Be confident. You're doing this for your own reasons. Um, don't worry. Trust your surgeons. And have faith. Um, to those of you thinking about it, I hope my videos help in some way because I tend to ramble and have my squirrel moments, but um, I do hope they help. Anyways, blessings to you all. Thank you so much, and until the next one, see you soon, guys. Bye.